right, not a good day to be drinking alcohol outside because it was too hot. Too hot. Just drink water. lots of water today. Water. Lots of water. That stuff later tonight. That, if if that <laughs> if that floats your boat, why not? If what the heck, I'm not here to keep you in any lanes. Just here to tell you what the weather's like. As you look over my shoulder here, what a sunset it's going to be. Take a look at that. Just spectacular out there as we run into. Uh, Definitely full on summer weather here in San Diego. Looking at the temperatures around the county, we're in the upper 90s in places like Valley Center, 98, 97 in Alpine, as well as the folks in the Ramona area, 94 in Escondido along the coastline, as good as it gets. I mean, 72 downtown, that's, that's Goldilocks weather, 74 in Del Mar, 73 in Carlsbad. So looking at some pretty nice weather here, and a great view from Mount Soledad. Currently 70 degrees right now, humidity at 73%, and a nice sea breeze at uh, about eight miles per hour to the west and west-northwest, so we're looking at some nice conditions. I wanna bring up the surf again because we've got these rip currents that are rather strong out there. If you're not familiar with the ocean, now is not the time to kind of wade out into it and see if you can figure it out because this south southwesterly swell is creating some pretty strong rip currents. Most of the beach is seeing waves in the, say, need a waist high range, but you get on any beach where it starts to bend a little bit towards the southwest, that would be like, say, Carlsbad, Oceanside, northern Baja, California, or in the Orange County area, and you got some pretty strong rip currents moving through there. Look at this cool air moving across the northern plain states right now, and then we've got high pressure on the east slope of the Rockies and high pressure on the west slope, so in the middle, Denver, looking at a 69 right now, but it's 88 in Oklahoma City and uh, pretty toasty in Dallas where it's 93 in the nation's capital. They're at 79, 74 in New York along with Boston. Out, up in Detroit, 78, the Pacific Northwest. It is warm. Look at that high pressure wedge, wedging in there. 91 in Portland right now, 83 in Seattle, 85 in Boise and San Francisco at 63. All right, here's what's going on. You can see the high pressure over the central plain states. And then we've got this low pressure moving through the Great Lakes right now. But it's out west where there's a mixed bag of things going on. The area of low pressure that is pumping this moisture up, this is your monsoonal flow. And then once you get into the Pacific Northwest, look at how the high pressure has just ridged up in there. And that's why they are so warm. And all this monsoonal moisture is going to be a game player for us in the next, say, two to three days. High pressure right now, circulation around that's going to pick up that moisture and pump it right into Southern California. This area of low pressure will be the cool down that arrives. Say by Wednesday, we start to see some pretty cool conditions here as far as temperatures are concerned. It's always cool in Southern California. 76, 76, 76, and then the cool down arrives Thursday, Friday. Look at how cool it gets compared to 95 tomorrow and 90, 82 by the time we get to say Thursday and Friday. And for you folks in the mountains, it'll take a lot longer. The desert's not a dramatic cool down, and in fact, only three to five degrees, but definitely some cooler weather heading towards the inland valleys and the coastal areas say by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Steve, curious.